Yes, yes, I've got a new fur. I live for fur. They are my only love. Hi guys, welcome back. Um, this is my first carnival tutorial uh, and I decided to do Quella de Ville, as you can understand. Um, it's quite a simple look and you just need a very few products. Uh, I hope you like it and please let me know if you have any other suggestions about look you want to see. And I'll see you to the next one. Bye! So as always, uh, I'm gonna start by covering the brows and I did about two layers of fruit stick to really glue them and stick them to my skin. Um, and then after uh, the glue is dry, I'm gonna use some wax um, so I can really hide all the space between the hair and I'm gonna help myself with a wooden spatula or a metal one. You can also use your fingers, you don't need to use a spatula and be very careful to smooth the edges into the skin. Um, once it's dry, uh, apply some transparent powder just to fix it and remove the excess with a brush. Now, um, to cover the color, the darkness of my eyebrows, I'm gonna use a salmon corrector and then on the top I'm gonna go with the skin tone one. And I'm taking my corrector from my Cryolan Camouflage palette. Now, from my Supra color palette from Cryolan, I'm gonna take the white uh, one and I'm gonna color my face in white. You can use any white cream makeup, so in this period for carnival shops are full of creamy makeup, so just buy a white one and cover your face with it. Uh, because Crudelia has got a really pale face, but I don't want to look like a ghost, so on the top of it I'm gonna apply an ivory foundation. This is one from L'Oreal Too Much in number one. Always from my Supra palette, I'm gonna take a black color. You can use any cream black, also a gel eyeliner would do the job, or even black track from MAC. Um, so I'm gonna uh, shape the cheeks, because Crudelia has got, has got really chiseled cheeks, uh, really pointed features, and I'm also gonna shape the nose. and the chin as well because she's got a very pointed chin and now we start blending all the edges um, you can use a duo fiber brush as I'm doing here or you can also use your, your fingers or a sponge the base is done I'm gonna fix everything with the transparent powder the one I used before and I'm gonna curl my lashes now from my eyeshadow palette I'm gonna take a matte black and I'm gonna shape the um, the eyeshadow so because Crudelia has got this eyeshadow it's almost got the shape of a triangle and I want to map the shape because I'm going to apply the eyeshadow now I've got this creamy eyeshadow from Kiko it's called Color Shock and it's like an emerald green um, not really emerald like more like uh, aqua green and once I finish with this I'm going to apply a matte green eyeshadow on the top to uh, have a more intense color I'm also going to apply some matte green under the eyes and now we can start adding the feature with this body makeup um, it's just wet makeup you can get in any shop and it's a black uh, and I'm starting to do um, the eyeliner uh, and Crudelia has got really sleepy eyes they almost go down so uh, that's why we're gonna change the shape of our usual eyeliner because usually our flick goes on the top this time we're gonna make it go under so it goes down in the end rather than going up To 
give a more cartoony effect I'm gonna trace the edges in black so uh, the chisel cheeks and I'm gonna point my nose as well um, so I'm gonna make my nostrils very pointed I'm also gonna contour the shape of my shadow so as I said before it's like a triangle Once you finish with one as a symmetry make a point on the other eye so you can trace the perfect line following the dots We're also gonna highlight the jawline because as we said she's got very pointed face and the chin Now we're gonna do the main feature of Crudelia character which are obviously these super arched brows and I'm gonna do them with the white pencil so if I got any mistake I can easily erase it with my fingers or a cotton bud so let's map the shape um, as I said before as a symmetry always imagine a line on the other eye and trace some dots and when we finish uh, we're gonna uh, do them in black obviously and I use the same wet makeup as before apply some mascara on top and bottom lashes it's time for the lips I'm gonna erase my uh, actual lips because Crudelia's got very very thin lips and so you can use concealer, foundation on the top and now I'm gonna trace the shape with the red pencil this is one from MAC um, so as I said, very thin lip and they go, they're quite wide in the end As a lipstick, I'm gonna use Ruby Woo by MAC. And of course, we're gonna trace a black line also around our lips to give this cartoon effect. So that's the finished look guys, as always I hope you like it, if you do give me thumbs up, share the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to have all the updates or the next videos. Thank you for watching, I'll see you to the next one, bye!